Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to King's Quest VII, a Christmas special and a Patreon reward for Kijikun. Chapter 3, The Sky is Falling. Well, at this point, I don't really care. If it just cracks my skull open, it'll be a better thing. Hi! Hi, monster. Um. Hi. Last. I suppose I should have done something to take that beast's attention away from me. I tried to look at it. Does that not count? That doesn't count, everyone. You have expired. Do you want to try again? No! Alright, fine, I will. Um, you want some salt? Nah, he's not a very salty creature. Um, how about, how about corn? You want corn? Would you sh- I'm trying to talk to the viewers. Stupid salamander. Here, have some corn. Everyone likes corn. Mm. Last. I guess that was kind of corny. Yes, yes, yes. Growl. Get me some uh, fuzzy sounds. Here, have a have a pear. Oh, that's gonna eat your hand there, Valenice. Ew. Well, it apparently wasn't all that hungry. I, uh, can't look at whatever that is, if it's anything at all. So, out we go, calmly. Hmm. Well, this place seems like it's, uh, seen better days. These statues are so beautiful. I I I don't Incredible. I don't know about that. They're they're just marble statues. These statues are so beautiful. Well, let's look at the uh, I guess the hummingbird. Oh no, this is gonna look at the. Hmm, uh... those flowers smell heavenly. You are. You're not getting what's going on here. What about this, uh, this bridge? Look, we could clearly climb down and then climb up the other side. Alright, maybe the dress would be a problem, but still. What could have happened to this little bridge? Um, I bashed my head against it, perhaps. I guess we'll go this way. I don't know that there's anything else to look at. There really isn't much of a look option in this game. It's sometimes look, sometimes interact. Mmm, it's time for some venison. I mean, hi, Mr. Deer. Hello? I advise you to turn back, my lady. These once magical woods have been cursed, and no one is safe here. Eh, I'm used to it. I mean, if it kills me, it kills me. Let's talk to you again. Uh, maybe you can give me some more details. I am Valenice of Daventry, Noble Stag, and I appreciate your concern, but I am on a mission from which I cannot be dissuaded. I must enter your woods. A mission from God? You are brave. You're a blue sister? The oak tree you see before you was once my wife Ceres, she who is Mother Nature. I could not prevent her from being turned into a tree, for I had already been turned into a stag. I, Attis, Lord of the Hunt, could not save her. Who has done such a terrible thing, my Lord Attis? The attack was so sudden She's and very so credulous. ferocious that I saw nothing. Only a noble from the high court of Etheria could have so much power. But that is unthinkable. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know about that. I am sorry for your loss, Attis, but I must search on. And I must Farewell, have venison. Valenice, wait. Be warned. To the far west is the wood of the weir folk. Do not enter those woods, for the weir folk are never friendly and always hungry. Sweet. Thank you, Lord. Sweet, Addis. sweet release. May the fate smile upon both of us. 
I'm sure we'll find some way to uh, break your curse or something like that. What are you looking at me for? Is there nothing that can break the enchantment on you and your wife, Atis? Perhaps, Perhaps killing you? Is, but I know not what. Or killing me. Feldspar, the ancient rock spirit, might tell you. If only there was a way to awaken him. You see, I am becoming more like a natural stag with every passing hour. Hmm, it just means Thought you're getting tastier. It becomes more difficult, and the shadows of the forest sing to my blood. I, if I find don't think that any happens way to, to normal help stags. You, I will, my lord Attis. So we have to go uh, talk with uh, Lord Field Rock that does not c contain ore. All right. Can I, can I, blo nope. Lady Ceres, I will help you if I can. Hmm. I don't think I've ever heard a tree sigh before. Also, I, I kind of wanted to take the, uh, what the sap. What wicked creature drove this stake into the tree? Oh, into a Lady Ceres. The same creature who turned her into a tree. If I only knew who that was, Lady Valenis, I would surely make him regret it. I fear my lady may die of that wound, but I can do nothing about it. I These clumsy hooves. don't think that would happen. You could use your teeth. With your permission, my lord, I would like to try to remove this stake. Mmm, steak. And it's not gonna work, right? Do not feel bad, Valenice. That steak was placed there by the darkest of evil magic. How do you I'm know? I'm not sure anyone can remove it. Maybe it's just kind of grayish evil magic. I hate to magic. ask you this, Lord Addis, but what will happen if Ceres, Mother Nature herself, does indeed perish? Everyone dies. I cannot say for certain, but I feel in my bones that the woods will perish along with her. I don't see a problem here. Alright, anything else that we can look at? Uh, can't interact with that again. I don't want to interact with you again. Poor fellow. I should leave him in peace. Yes, the peace of death. I mean... <clears throat> Yes, peace. We'll, we'll leave him alone. Maybe he'll find a knot hole or something. I don't know, this place seems, uh, awfully nice. Right? Right? Definitely nothing, uh, worrying over there. Ah, let's go over here. What's the worst that could happen? With her slow, ponderous walk. It's not really ponderous. Plotting, maybe? See, clearly all you need is an axe. Just wave them at the trees and they won't get you with these obvious claws. Hi, kitty! Oh, my. You say, oh my, a lot. It's, it's, it's fine. Oh, ooh, well, that was just a... What is up with that bear? Eh, no, I'm just gonna walk. What an unfriendly creature. I'll never be able to get past him. Unless I do something drastic. Yes. Uh, at least they put me back here. Okay, well, so there is a uh, pants-wearing bear in there. Um, yay. It's going to eat me. Can I uh, look at anything, like, over here? No? Right, I can interact with these uh, rocks. Okay. Okay. 
Maybe you should, I don't know, rip off the bottom part of your dress? Oh, come on. There is no water here. You could, you could walk through here. Oh, my. my jewel. Soon all your troubles will be over. <laughs> it's it's the chief thief from Let's go ahead and grab him. It's the chief thief from uh, Quest for Glory 4. Hey! Who took the sun? Who took my lunch? Where am I? Oh, don't worry, Just little thing. Cool off for a while, my many legged you. friend. No fair. Uh, all's fair in love and war. Wow. I was not expecting that to happen. I thought we'd need the uh, spider. There you are, pretty one. Safe and sound. Um. I owe you my life, lady. I know I am very tiny, but if I can do you a good turn in the future, I will. Farewell. It's going to go off and uh, get all of its friends to come back and suck her blood. That's what hummingbirds do. If you don't know it, just wait. Well, I guess we can uh, go into this cave. Well, that seems very strange to suddenly come to a giant gate here uh, through that cave. Is this going to lead me to Chessland? Ah, who goes there? No one of consequence. Balinese of Daventry! I seek entry to your town. How do I know it's a town? You may only enter this city uh, if you uh, bring me the holy one-ton tomato of Antioch. What? That's ridiculous. Yeah. There's no such thing. Well, I don't know that she knows that. Oh, and you were going to let a little thing like that stop you? You don't mm, yeah. have to be in this town. Well, what if I uh, go through here? Stop! Don't touch that door. Touch. I'm touching you it. You can't go through there. there. There's a there's a giant rabid chicken on the other side. That's mm, a, a giant rabid chicken. Chicken. I'll take my chances. I could go for some chicken. Stop! You can't do that. That's cheating. I just did, little fellow. L little fellow. What? Oh! The archduke what? will hear of this. Archduke Ferdinand? Oh. I hope you're stuck. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Ew. Yep. I, Archduke Fifila, yip yip, do order it. What? You are a stranger here and you have no business in the town of Faldero. I have no idea what you just said. Here, you, you look like you might like pretty things. <laughs> Good sir, I want nothing from I was your town. not expecting that. I'm only that. searching for my lost daughter, Rosella. She was stolen by some form of dark magic, and now I fear I will never see her again. <laughs> we can only hope. That's the saddest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Enjoy your stay in Folder, early lady. Be sure to take the faux shop with a grain of salt. I hope you found your daughter. <laughs> I am incredibly weirded out. Oh! Ew! Maybe it'll crush no, us all. Never mind there, my lady. He's very silly. Yeah, coming from you. Um, hmm. Well, can't take a look at that mouse. Uh, China shop. Was oh, there going to be a bull in there? There's going to be a bull in there, isn't there? <sighs> yeah. A bull in a china shop. 
Um, why do you have this evil-looking mask? Pardon me, good sir, but what is the price of that lovely mask? Lovely? The price is 100 pieces of gold, my lady. But I'll let you have it for 80. I just don't care anymore. Well, if you don't care anymore, then can I have it for free? <laughs> I, I, Unfortunately, I think you're faking I have it. no money. Thank you anyway, shopkeep. I think he's faking it. <laughs> These things are so lovely. But I'm afraid even to breathe in here. It all looks so fragile. Eh, don't worry. It's not like you didn't uh, break three uh, clay pots before. Alright, let's, uh, let's, we'll, let's we'll talk to this guy. <laughs> Welcome to my shop, dear lady. I am Fernando Bullforth. Proprietor. Good day, sir. Oh, I think this is all an act. A good day. It is a terrible day. A black day. No, actually, I'm uh, sorry it's just kind of gray out. Fernando. Is there anything I can do to help? Kill him. Not unless Kill him. you have found my treasure. What treasure? Someone stole your treasure. How awful. Was it gold or gems? No, it was treasure, my precious china bird. I love my treasure more than all the stars in the sky. She is my only friend, and now... Now she's gone. <laughs> ah, don't worry. Someone probably just, uh... ate it. Ate a little bit of a uh, fried bird. Alright, so we have to go find this guy's bird. Of course I'd be a boy. Sky is falling! Look, 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 the sky is falling! C can I use this pot on the chicken? What? Can you hear me, lady? I said the sky is falling! Get the hell off me! I'm... I had no choice but to hear you, my lady. What chicken. makes you think Step on the it. sky is falling? This game needs subtitles because I have no idea what that character said either. Maybe, maybe the sky will fall and crush us all. Crush the life from us. What if I could put the salt in here and, uh... Faux shop, huh? prefer some of Professor Gluten's all-purpose extra sticky glue to put it back. Ew. No? Ah! Why doesn't anyone listen to me? Why, why, why? Because you I'll screech! You why, my dear. It's because you don't get their attention. However, you were to smack them in the head with this fine shillelagh. Kill me. Hmm. 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 That looks a little suspicious. Let's talk to you first. Hello. Do you have anything to uh, put me out of my misery? Good day, sir. I wonder if you might be able to help me. Of course I can help you, madam. What you need is a big jar of effervescent, a quick-acting dewberries revelant. It will cure what ails you, and cleans your cookware as well. So I it will put me out of my misery? Know, sir. And furthermore, I find your claim hard to believe. Really? You do? Oh, come on. Well, with Dr. Bullroarer's gullibility tonic, you'll believe anything. <laughs> it's made with so much pure hooey that if you just suspend your disbelief, it'll make it hover in midair. 
Never mind, merchant. I'll seek help elsewhere. Well, let's take a look at this. Clearly, it's interactable. I, I like how this guy doesn't seem to care that I'm messing with this bird here. Hello, little bird. It's not that little. Who are you? Go away! Hush, little one. Your friend Fernando is looking for you. How did we know he that was Fernando's? He his little treasure more than all the stars in the sky. You've met him? Will you take me to him? No. Please? No, we're going to eat you. Of course. We're going to eat you. Here, hop on be, my finger. Be tasty. Can, can I? Is there no explanation for why the bird is in here? Good I took merchant. your bird. I really would appreciate a moment of your time. A moment, you say? That will be two gold coins, my lady. Smack two him. moments for three coins. Punch What's him. The bargain. Punch him. Smack him. <sighs> now what about this bird sitting over here? Can't take this. Surely I would need a cloth at some what point. What a sweet little bird. Oh, I don't know about that. Hello there, pretty. How's it? Hello, dragon bread. How can you be so rude? It's not pretty. I'm a mockingbird, lady. What do you expect? I... Quick, go soak your head. Your brain is overheating. I don't think that's mocking, per se. But okay. Oh. We should probably... Look at the China bird. That is a very stiff... Is it actually alive? Maybe it's dead now. Maybe we killed it. Maybe we can find some, uh, some nice barbecue sauce and a, a fire to uh, have a roast China bird. I have a present for you. Might brighten your day. <laughs> just put it in the cage? No. I know someone who'd really like to see you, Fernando. Who might that be, my lady? It's my knife, Daggery! You just pulled her out of your shirt. Treasure! So, again, there is, like, no explanation for I cannot thank you what happened good lady. to the bird. Here, yeah. allow me to present you with this. It is my newest acquisition, and I want you to have it. Thank you, Fernando. I will always remember you and Treasure. If you will excuse me, my lady, I must go spend some quality time with Treasure. Yes, tell me all about it, my little precious one. Let's not judge, everyone. Let's not judge. I liked the bowl in the china shop better when it was in Tiffany's. That... That is actually kind of a frightening mask. I am so gonna have nightmares from this game. Oh hey, it's a gift! Good evening, sir and madam. Do come right in. I'm not sure that she can fit in. I am kind of amazed. Hmm. Can we go in? Maybe we can uh, witness a wedding? What do you want? Don't stab me with that halberd. Well, I'm trying to find my daughter, Rosella, and... Oh, sure you are, lady. You're trying to get into the Archduke's birthday party, that's what. Well, you can't come in. Why not? You don't have a mask, and your face is bald. Blah. Now that's just rude. Well, actually, we do have a mask. Well, isn't that convenient? I didn't think this could get any more frightening. I was wrong. 
Cheers. Welcome, my lady. You guys don't like check invitations? All right, I'm going to kill you and you and you and you and you and you last. Uh huh. I'm going to look at the cake. Look at the Duke. Happy birthday. Duke, it says there. Well, let's take a look at the cake first. Okay, I kind of thought that would actually look at the cake rather than eat the cake or taste the cake. That... You call yourself a queen. Happy birthday, Archduke Yip Yap. Yip Yap? That's his name? Thank you, my loyal subject. <laughs> Let us never <laughs> talk of this place ever again once we're done. Excuse me, just gonna go through here. Wow, oh, I took off the... What? Someone hired MC Escher, didn't they? Well, maybe we'll uh, find stock here. He can destroy this for us. So I assume we want to get to one of these two doors. Well, we got to one of them. I am gonna have be. I am gonna be sick. Let's take a look at this. Uh, just. Last, I can't reach it. Well, I wasn't quite expecting that. How are you not falling? That's not how gravity works. Not even in Spelljammer. I guess I can look in that mirror. Archduke Fifi. You look every bit as silly on canvas as you do in person. Wait, Fifi? I thought it was Yip Yap. I am so confused. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so... I don't even know what that is. My mind is clearly going. All right, what if we go up here? Well, that was not where I expected us to uh, end up. How about down here? Okay, up here, does this take me up here, please? Well, not quite. Now are we up here? Come on. Yes. <laughs> I am going to murder the people who made this place. Well, hey, at least we can get in now. I don't know what the point of that dust was. Well, I think the world just got a new definition for tacky. Uh, I'm pretty sure it had that definition for tacky already. What a perfectly awful basin. So we have a lot of mirrors. Can I break them all? I don't care about... Uh... What would it be? Uh, um... 
35 years bad luck? That's fine. So these are, what, magical mirrors of some sort? Apparently so, they're... See, they're supposed to be frightening, but I've seen the art in this game! Well, I suppose that works. Thanks, Mirror, for, uh, I don't know, I guess teleporting me? Whatever this is, at least it doesn't break. What is it? A magic statuette. That totally would have bro broken. So I have a magic statuette, guys. I don't know what the heck I'm supposed to do with it, but maybe we'll figure out figure that out next time. See you then everyone.